Good morning, internet. I am Udoka. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about my personal life journey and also whatever I want. I'm on the OBS cam today because we are going to react to R. Kelly, which if you haven't heard, he has been convicted on all friggin' charges, including trafficking, including racketeering. He is facing life in prison. That's what he deserves. It is about flipping time. Some of us have waited almost our entire lives for this moment. And I want to revisit the interview he did with Gail King before he was found guilty. By the way, if you want a little personal life mental health update, I will give it at the end of this video. But y'all, let's, let's look back at this interview, knowing what we know now. I've been hearing things and, you know, and seeing things on the blogs and, you know, I'm just, I'm just tired. What are the lies that you're hearing that disturb you most? Oh my God. Um, all of them. Um, got little girls trapped in the basement, helicopters over my house, mm -hmm. um, trying to um, rescue someone that doesn't need rescuing because they're not in my house, handcuffing people, starving people. I have a heroin. He, so he actually was handcuffing people and starving people. What's particularly sad about this as well, like in addition, is all the stuff that he did to Aaliyah. Um, I didn't even know some of the things. We knew that he illegally married her while she was underaged. We knew that they was knocking boots. But some of the things that he did to her to all of these women involved I am so glad this man will now have to answer for his actions for the rest of his life legally documented uh, what you call it um, a coat mm -hmm. I don't even really know what a coat is but I, I know I don't have one you know mm -hmm. have you done anything that you regret? Charges. have you done anything wrong you lots of things wrong when it comes to women that I apologize but I apologize in those relationships at the time I was in the relationships have okay. you broken any laws when it comes to women absolutely not how do you apologize for the things that you've done what do you mean you apologize there were women that you weren't in a relationship with that you needed to do more than just apologize for. Quite frankly. Oops. Why did it mute? He's interviewed 50 people, mm -hmm. family members, your former tour manager, numerous women who all claim that you abused them. Yeah. Are you saying everybody in that documentary was not telling the truth about you? Everybody? If, if, if you... And is he going to claim that everybody who testified in the court of law was not telling the truth either? Really look at that documentary, which I'm sure you have. I have. Everybody said something bad about me. Mm -hmm. Nobody said nothing good. Mm -hmm. That's the point of the they documentary. They were describing Lucifer. I'm not Lucifer. This is, with narcissists like this, this is something that they always mention. Trisha Paytas mentions it as well. Trisha Paytas has a new video about Evan Hansen where, you know, it gives some insight into how her brain works when it comes to people like herself. I'm not going to react to it because, y'all, like I said, there are certain YouTubers who they make my blood boil. So I cannot, I can't stomach too much of it. The dad podcast challenge, whatever his name is, he's one. Radiant Brit, she's she's one. 
I mean, every, every blue moon, she says something that I agree with, but it's not worth, it's not worth sitting through. Trisha Paytas is on that list as well. I can't listen. Once, once somebody shows that they have a really bad take that they wholeheartedly believe in, will not address, do not want to address, and they think that they're more, they're in the morally superior position. I can't. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. Okay. So we're not reacting to that Trisha Paytas video. I'm sorry. We can react to some old videos. We can react to some contradictions and lies and stuff. Mm, not the new ones. But what is it about narcissists that they feel like when you're trying to bring them to task and hold them accountable for something specifically egregious, they, they have to make they have to make note that your assessment is unfair because you didn't say anything nice that I don't understand why they think that way. I mean, sure. Like it hurts your feelings, right? Like anybody who's under fire, your feelings are going to be hurt, but you have to recognize that they are focused on specific, a specific grievance. And he's saying that they're describing Lucifer. Well, sir, they're describing you. So maybe you're Lucifer. I make mistakes, but I'm not a devil. They're not mistakes. When you do them over the span of 25 years, over and over, and people have had mobs out against you. People have been speaking out against you. People have been making documentaries about you. People have been calling you out for 25 years. At that point, it's not a mistake. By no means am I a monster. I'm going to name the names. Andrea Kelly, your ex-wife. If he feels like what was described as a monster, then by all means, you are a monster. Like Kitty Jones, Lisa Van Allen, Lizette and Martinez. This is not even Jeronda all the women. Pace, this is not all of Faith them. Faith Rogers. These are Asante just the McGee. ones who were in the You're documentary. Everything they said in that documentary about you is not true. Which, when that documentary came out, there was discussion of, are some of these women cloud chasing? Maybe. I mean... Kel- R. Kelly's ex-wife, a lot of people feel like she's just a clout chaser, that she's, you know, wh- what have you, just trying to so- soak in as much money as possible uh, because she, you know, R. Kelly left her with not much. Whatever you want to say about R. Kelly's ex-wife, he did what he did. And you have to admit, I don't know a single person who isn't elated that this man will finally answer for what he did. Go play. Hello. They are lying on me. Why would these women say the same thing about you, that you are controlling, that you are abusive, that you tell women when to eat, when to go to the bathroom, when they can sleep, where they can dress? And if they don't follow his rules, he punishes them physically and... Um, forcing them to knock boots as well. Why would all these women tell these different stories about you if they were not true and they don't know each other? That defies logic to me. Right, right. Until you hear the explanation. You can start a room. It defies logic to us. Until we hear the explanation, let's hear this amazing explanation. Or a guy like me or a celebrity, just like that. All you have to do is push a button on your phone and say, so-and-so did this to me. R. Kelly did this to me. And if you get any traction from that, if, you, if you're able to write a book from that. Does he not understand why these women got traction from it? It's because you've been doing this stuff for 25 years. People who have been close in your circle have been trying to protect you for 25 years. Some of them, some of them, the slip, slip, the, what do you call it? Slip the, slip this tea, slip the, some of them spilled the tea. Over the span of 25 years, various people from your camp have spilled the tea. Various victims have come out. Various videos that you created have leaked out. So it's just beyond him how 
these accusations could gain traction. Now, if you're able to get uh, a, a reality show, then any girl that I had a relationship with. None of these the women got a reality show out, from it. She can come and say the same exact thing. Are you blaming this? That it didn't work out? He's calling his, his actions merely a relationship not media? working out. I'm talking about the power of social media. In 2008. The people have been accusing you before social media. People have been accusing you since the 90s, my guy. Since before social media. What's the, what's the amazing explanation for that? R. Kelly was found not guilty on 14 counts of child pornography after prosecutors in Chicago failed to convince a jury that he was a man seen in a sex tape with a girl as young as 13. What do you want to say to your fans? Last month, Kelly was indicted again, this time charged with aggravated criminal sexual abuse of four women, including three who the charges say were minors at the time. Have you ever had sex no. with anyone under the age of 17? No. Lie. And now proven in the court of law to be a lie. Never. No. I have to tell you, it's so hard to believe that based on all the yes, read. I'm tell you the women... What does he tell himself? When he was forcing Aaliyah to do the nasty with him, when he was performing, can you say Kungalina? Kung, Kung <laughs> can you say that on YouTube? It's just such a word that's said so infrequently that sometimes I wonder, would YouTube even catch it? Like, do people even know what that means? But when you were doing that on a 13-year-old Aaliyah, what what was what did he tell himself? What do these type of people tell themselves? There's said one about you. I'm what tell women you said about you. What women said about me. What women so nobody's allowed to be mad at me and be scorned and allow me. Mm -hmm. So they're lying on you. That's your explanation. All they're of them are lying. Absolutely. Absolutely. Shaking your head no. Absolutely. Absolutely. You feel that people have maligned your I have been assassinated. I have been buried alive. But I'm alive. Yeah, so, so I have the, the psyches of your and, and correct victims. me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. I don't need to. That, Why would I? Well, I'm well, you do. Never held it's part of his game. It's part of his little cult game to hold women against their will. This is part of his fetish. R. Like, Kelly... With all I've been through in my way, way past, to hold somebody, let alone four, five, six, fifty, you said, what, how stupid and would I be to do that? I didn't say that's you stupid, say, guys. She didn't say fifty. Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common well, look sense. Look at the theatrics. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to with my so stupid crazy that you're facing life in prison? Oh, right now I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street. What is from this? Uncle. Adding Rob, stuff that nobody Rob, said. Quit playing. Quit playing. Rob, I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. I don't understand. Me with this I can't help that here. He feels entitled. He feels entitled to what he's done. Y'all trying to kill me. Because he You're gave 30 that. years of his life. This is not about music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids and I can't do it. Y'all just don't want to believe it. tripping. You don't, don't want to believe it. it. At this point, we briefly pause the interview to give Kelly a moment. Boom. His public Boom. Boom. Don't want to believe the truth. Uh, don't want to believe the truth. That remix. This <laughs> has helped calm him down. I hope this camera keep going. No, we're going to This is not true. Right, oh. This is not, doesn't even make sense. It Why would makes I hold a lot all of these sense. women? Their mothers and fathers I'm told guilty. me. We're going to destroy your career. But Kelly's emotions remain you raw. There's real girls out this there. Is what, this is what I don't understand with these men who get convicted. They they say the victims are destroying their career. Take responsibility. You destroyed your career when you started doing immorally illegal things to other human beings. Listen, it's real young girls Bro, out there being abducted, make a movie out of being this. raped, okay? They really are on chains. They really do have chains on their on their wrists, and they can't get out. Robert, and they're ending up buried in. Robert, we have to have a conversation. Really, I, I don't want you just ranting at the camera. Well, I, think I came here for them to hear me okay, talk. But I need that, help. What kind of help? This is the kind of help I need. Yes, okay, what kind, what kind of help do you need? I need somebody to help me mm -hmm. not have a big heart because Bingo. my heart is so. What is the the, <laughs> the 
mental gymnastics is Man, just... People betray me, and I keep forgiving them. You sound like you're playing the victim here. You sound like yeah. R. Kelly, you do. When I listen to you, I'm it does sound the like... Truth. He sees how his victims are getting sympathy, so he, he wants to add himself into the you're victim You're playing category. the victim. I'm just right. telling the truth. And the reason I'm emotional, but Robert, and I apologize you, for that, is no, no, because no. this is the first time I was able to, to say speak. something. Yeah. I've said nothing. Well, we're also hearing from the family of a woman who lives with R. Kelly at his home. The parents of Joycelyn Savage say that the singer not only abused but brainwashed their daughter. R. Kelly denies that and claims it was Savage's father who gave his daughter to him at a concert. I didn't go looking for a job. So this is, this is where, you know, some people have things to say about the parents of he had two girlfriends that were living with him. They were in their early 20s, like 21, 22 years old. And this is a situation where um, I can definitely see a parent say, telling their child, go with R. Kelly. He's going to make your career and just do whatever he asks of you. He's helped so many people with their career. And, you know, him playing out what he's done to Aaliyah, playing it out with these girls. Um, it is very easy to kind of, to kind of, brainwash somebody into submission when you have when you're somebody with that much power and you have that much power over their career <sighs> i mean it's a sticky situation the girls at the time claimed that they were totally happy and then once it came out that r kelly doesn't have any more money i mean now we know he is negative two million dollars of net worth negative Somebody said, I hope the victims sue him. Now that he's been found guilty, the victims can sue. But it's like, what is there to sue for? Maybe I, I will be suing the people involved. I will be suing the old managers and all of them. I will be suing that whole entourage. But this dude don't got nothing. There is nothing. Maybe you can sue to have, you know, royalties of the music. You know, when people can start playing R. Kelly music again, knowing that the money goes to the victims, I don't know. But um, once it came out that he had no money, the girls started fighting. His girlfriends were fighting. The girlfriends were saying that everything is true. He did hold us against our will. He did do this. He did brainwash me. Once the money was gone, once the sugar daddy was indisposed, once sugar daddy was in jail, and there's no money, the girls flipped. Um, and, and I'm just saying that because that's such a crazy psychological predicament to be in. I just, it's just hard for me to wrap my head. I feel like I would have to make a whole separate video about what was going on with the two girlfriends what was going on with their parents that the parents gave their daughters to R. Kelly or R. Kelly brought them into his little cult and the girls went along with it. And then once R. Kelly is indisposed, the girls no longer went along with it. Savage. I was doing my show. He brought her and asked a friend of mine to put her on the stage with R. Kelly. Make sure she's on the stage. Mm -hmm. But in a news... And so people have a lot of issue with the parents because people just feel like you y'all are old. Y'all know what R. Kelly has been accused of because these accusations have go back to the 90s, okay? Like, youngins need to understand that this is not new. The buses is not new. The buses is filthy, okay? R. Kelly has been filthy, for decades and everybody knew as a young girl I knew I knew and if you had put me in front of R. Kelly as a teenager I would be scared but I would also be in awe because it's R. Kelly even though he has these allegations against him he was still highly respected I would be so conflicted and if I had a music career that I wanted to pursue I would be even more conflicted People felt like these parents knew what they were doing. These parents put their daughters in harm's way for the paycheck. 
and that's wrong on the parents. And I, you know, I tend to agree. I just don't believe you are aware of R. Kelly. You know what R. Kelly can do for your career, but you didn't know about the allegations. I don't believe you can be in the music industry and not, you know, there are things that are spoken about in an industry that's not really told to the public before the whole Harvey Weinstein thing, actors and actresses knew about, they knew about Harvey Weinstein. They knew they would make jokes about it. Sometimes these jokes would slip up in public award shows. They would make jokes about it. Like, it's just like the industry's little secret. You can't tell me that you're pursuing music for your daughter and you don't know about the industry's little secret about R. Kelly. I do. I do feel like the parents put their daughters in harm's way for money. And that's sad. Conference this morning, the Savage family says they have no doubt that Joycelyn. That's the daughters were, I believe, 17. I believe they were underage when when the parents started hooking them up with R. Kelly. It's being held by the singer against her will. We went from seeing you or talking to you daily. I don't want to hear, I don't, I don't really want to hear about the family. <sighs> because I feel like they're partially to blame for putting their daughter in that situation. But yeah, that, that was the interview. While I blame the parents for putting their daughter in that situation, it doesn't remove the fact that R. Kelly did what he did, period, regardless, and it shouldn't shouldn't have been done. And a parent shouldn't have to feel like they're compromising their values to have their child be mentored. But, um, child, that's... That's just a whole nother video. That's just a whole nother video, okay? But isn't that crazy? He's now been found guilty on all charges. And just to rewatch that interview and the theatrics he was pulling and the trying so hard to victimize himself. It's crazy to see that. The mind of a narcissist, the mind of what he calls a monster. It's crazy. So I am actually now getting ready to go to um, K treatment. Starts with a K, ends with an enamine. It's an FDA approved um, treatment for depression. I'm trying to hide this. Oh, well. So I'm getting ready to go to that. Um on the weight loss front, I have lost two inches from my chest, lost two inches from my waist, lost two inches from my hips. So I'm excited. I've lost two pounds. I've lost two pounds, but I've lost two inches. And the inches is what really matters to me in this weight loss thing. Um, and, um, all I've been doing is I've been doing exercise. I've been doing more specifically, been going to dance class at least once a week, and I've been going to F45. Any day that I'm not doing dance, every weekday. So I'm still trying to figure out my schedule with that, but I'm just really excited that, okay, we're making some progress. And then we'll do something else if I plateau and I'm not at where I want to be, but I'm just excited. We're getting somewhere, but yes, I am going to go do my K treatment. It's time for a booster. I've made videos about K treatment. If you're interested in, in wanting to know what, what is K infusions, how does it help depression? My experience with it. After you do the initial six treatments, you have to go in for a booster. They are very expensive. It's not covered by insurance, at least not here in the States, not yet. Um, unfortunately, because it has been the best treatment I've been able to experience thus far. But once I know I need a booster, once I start waking up with my, I used to wake up with really bad anxiety. So once I start having that, that anxiety is time. I also need to start meditating. I'm going to work on that. I am 
working on so many things with my mental health, but, um, but I document them all here in case somebody can relate. So anyway, that's a personal life update. That's a weight loss update, mental health update. And thank God R. Kelly is going to be put away probably for the rest of his life. And there has been legal vindication, legal justice for the horrible things that he's done. Fortunately, statute of limitations on the Aaliyah stuff specifically can't be fully addressed, but they were partially addressed in this trial and the jury was mostly men. And uh, in the jury of his peers, they found him guilty. I think, um, yeah, I'll update you guys with any more news I hear about it because I've been following this for most of my life. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, subscribe if you vibe with me. And until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.